Hi, today we're going to look at lever frame mode on the multi-panel and how it differs from regular mode. Multi-panels traditionally work with a push button switch. Press, something moves, servo, solenoid or relay board, press it again and it goes back. And you can see here with this test panel you can see the LED changing to indicate that I've moved. Press it again and it shows that I've moved something back and in this case you can see solenoid number one is moving from left to right. Now what's actually happening here is the electronics and the software on the multi-panel are determining whether this particular solenoid or every other one connected should be turned to the left or the right and depending on how that's hooked up on your layout whether your points will be straight ahead or turned. So effectively the state of this or the state machine is managed by the electronics. Now with a lever instead of using a push to make button which is a button that you momentarily make contact with it will use a switch or probably some form of micro switch. So I've got a toggle switch here to give you an idea how a lever switch might work. If I plug this in all is good. When I operate the switch this toggles over, moves over and it moves back. Let's take this off and you'll see every time this light stops flashing it immediately changes. So it's stuck in an endless loop just like this button is being permanently held down. To work around this what we do is we set up lever mode on the multi-panel and what we're essentially doing is telling the multi-panel we don't want the electronics to control the state when we toggle it with a switch we want the switch itself to set the state. Now if you ignore this top row of lights here, let's toggle that back, what we're actually looking at is this button here where the master light is and the one next to it to the right the run light which is flashing every now and then. Now on the master light there's a button. What you do if you press and hold it for about two seconds when you release it what will happen is the run light will come on permanently and when I operate this switch now I get a very different behavior. First of all there's no flashing on the LEDs it simply moves to where the switch puts it. So I can sit here and throw this as much as I want and every time I toggle it you can see the output changes and this solenoid moves. Let's move this piece of paper over and you can get a feel for it. So when I flick the, whoops, when I flick the switch it goes one way, when I flick the switch back it goes the other way. Essentially I now have this unit working in lever mode. This means anything that uses a switch rather than a push to make button can now drive this board. So I've got some scale 4 society levers here, there's five levers and I'm going to attach one. What I have is the common ground which is this blue lead here which I'll put to one of the grounds and lever number five will operate through this micro switch in here which I'll show you in a moment. So as I pull the lever, watch number five, it's gone to the right and as I release the lever it goes to the left. So that is essentially lever frame mode working. Switch off, switch on. So what I'll do, I'll hook up the other four. I made a little uh, cable assembly here to speed it up. Plug it in and now I have all five levers hooked up. So let's do number one and it fires. We'll do number two fires three, four and five. Now as I said before it doesn't matter whether you're driving servos, solenoids, relays or even our upcoming uh, Kato points driver. The principle is the same. Now I'm letting the switch determine how my layout is configured. 
and that is the essence of lever mode. Now, if you have the unit in lever mode and you have a toggle switch connected, this is what you'll observe. I'll reconnect my wire and I'll plug in my toggle switch. So as I press the button, it fires over. As soon as I release it, it goes back. So there's basically nothing in the software to say, I've pressed the button once, stay over. It now jolts over, and as soon as I release, jolts back. Now most levers have a micro switch of sorts inside them. And you can see with the scale four levers here, there are a number of micro switches. There's one under every lever. There's one here, 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 and here, and here. So all we're doing is we're operating that switch just like we operate this switch when we go off and on and off and on. It's exactly the same principle. So let me reconnect that and show you again. And off and on. So why would you want to use a multi-panel to operate something like a solenoid? Well, if you look at this picture I've now put on screen, this is one of our customers and he has 80 levers attached. Now, traditionally wiring 80 levers would require an absolute minimum of 81 wires. And what this customer has done is used a multi-panel and out of the multi-panel comes this single network cable that connects all of his devices together. So from the entire console we have there, everything that talks to the layout goes through a single cable. So it dramatically reduces and simplifies the wiring to your panel. Now, lever frame on its own is also quite useful if you're doing some diagnostics or test work. If you happen to be working on your layout, maybe you have some solenoids and you want to fire them off quickly whilst you're working on them, well, you can put the unit into lever mode with a push button and operate all of your points as necessary. Let's plug it into number five or number four. So effectively, I have a quick way of testing specific points without waiting for anything to time out and stop flashing. So how do you get out of lever mode? Well, we're back to the master button here. We've got the run light on solid. So what I have to do is press and hold the master light for a couple of seconds. And what will happen next is the light will extinguish and now the run light will begin to flash. This is now placed the multi-panel into slave mode. In other words, it's expecting to communicate with another multi-panel somewhere on this network. And if I press it once more, the master button, Hold it down for a couple of seconds and release. Everything's gone back now to where the unit remembered last time it was in master mode. The master LED is on permanently and the run light is flashing. So when I reconnect my push button, which is the default mode, by the way, here, press it, it toggles over, press it again and it goes back and you get the familiar flashing LED. Now, there are some drawbacks to lever mode. If I have a lever on my layout with the switch on the lever setting the output of the solenoid in this case, then it's not possible to have another device on the network communicate with the multi-panel to say that this should actually be on the opposite side. Because, for example, if I have a DCC command come in because I've connected this to a DCC module and it's telling the unit the, the solenoid should be to the left, but the lever says no, it should be to the right, then there's an obvious conflict. So we disable the network communication. So this board, when it's in lever mode, will not respond to network commands from another multi-panel or from a DCC module. Thanks for watching.